Hey guys, um, so I recently switched over from, uh, probably about six months ago, switched over from Linux to FreeBSD. Uh, I've been running it on my on my uh, desktop back there um, for a while now, and I wanted a I wanted a, a laptop, a new laptop that actually is really compatible, works really well with uh, with FreeBSD. I've been um, my my main laptop that I've been using up until now is this uh, G62 Apache Pro, I think it's called. Yes, GE62. Um, unfortunately, I had a lot of trouble with this, uh, with installing FreeBSD on this, um, mainly because of the hybrid graphics. Uh, so I, I currently run Slackware Linux on this. I wanted something better. I wanted something lighter, something with a better battery life. Uh, and so I went out and I bought one of these. I bought a, um, an X1 Carbon 6th generation uh, ThinkPad. Now, I was never a ThinkPad fan before, but this has converted me to ThinkPads. I think I'm a ThinkPad for life now. Um, it's awesome. It's such a hardy laptop. I don't know, it's been uh, mil military grade tested apparently. Um, it's just, it feels solid. It feels really high quality. And uh, best of all, it pretty much, FreeBSD almost works out of the box on this with the, um, the new 11.2 FreeBSD. I'm running the beta. Um, I, I'll show you this. So it pretty much got everything up and running using the DRM Next K mod. Um, the only thing I have had trouble with is the wireless. So I've got a dongle, an Edimax dongle, uh, in there right now, which is not not what I wanted. Uh, but the IWM kernel module it loads and it detects the, the device and, and everything but for some reason WPA supplicant does not associate with the router it just hangs so don't know what that's all about I'm not sure but I hope somebody fixes that issue with the with the driver it's the um, the Intel 8265 so sound works out of the box um, let me just do this the uh, battery life is really good I've got it, it says four, uh, five hours remaining time right now, but I've, I've managed to optimize it to the point where uh, if, I, um, if I lower the screen brightness, I can get about eight hours, which is pretty good, considering I've got the 500 nits screen, which is the best screen, and it's, uh, it's quite a drain on the battery. Um, what else? The uh, webcam works, if you can see that, works out of the box. Um, I want to say sound works. Um, I have not tested the fingerprint reader or the HDMI output yet, but everything else seems to work pretty much perfectly. Um, headphone jack, I have to play around with the pins and the configuration a little bit because it, it mutes the internal speakers, but it doesn't, um, I don't get sound out of the headphone jack, but it's, it's, a, it's a problem that's easy to fix. So that's one thing. Um, other than that, this thing is awesome. I, like I said, I've never been a fan of ThinkPad, but um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty much converted. I think there it's it's an amazing laptop, and it's it's so it's so solid, so well built, so lightweight. I think I'm I'm definitely going to be buying these for the rest of my, <laughs> the rest of my time. So as a as a FreeBSD driver, it's just unreal. Um, I'll be uh, I'll make some more videos soon about that about uh, things that I discover as I go along with this but for now it's uh, it's pretty much set up to to do all my uh, my my work and uh, yeah so if you if you're looking for a laptop that works with uh, with FreeBSD without any hassle without well, with minimal hassle the X1 carbon 6th generation ThinkPad